Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your weekly reading. Gemini, this is for the week of April 10th through the 16th. This is a general reading. will not resonate with every single one of you. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs to see if there's more information in those or more clarity for you if you're seeking more clarity. Um, and as always, if you'd like a personal private reading, um, the information is in the link below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rudy. I appreciate y'all being here. If you're returning, thank you for your likes and subscribes, your um, comments, all your energies. I really appreciate all you guys. All right, Gemini, the week of April 10th through the 16th. Let us get on with the reading. Move this down for you. All right. And here we go. We need to know about the week of the 10th through the 16th for Gemini, please. We need to know. This card sticking. Ace of Swords. Beautiful. That is you, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Oh, and there's one too. Temperance. And the sun. Beautiful. Gosh, guys. There's, <clears throat> I've noticed a definite shift in energies. There's a definite shift in energies for all the signs. All the readings seem to be more upbeat and positive and um, kind of less confusion, if that makes any sense. Let me know if y'all are feeling that too. If you're feeling a little bit more like you can breathe a little bit. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. This talks about reciprocity, a give and take, making sure like equal work for equal pay, equal pay for equal work, that type of thing. It can also mean that um, if you're a parent, it's like fairness with the children, making sure you're treating everybody fair or, you know, as, the same as you can treat them the same. Um, give and take through a relationship. If you're in a relationship, it can also mean that, making sure that things are balanced, making sure that, you know, you're not the one doing all the things and your partner does the things too. Um, it can also be that. It can also be, again, work where you could either feel like you're not getting paid for what you're worth or you're working harder than you know what you're getting paid for um you're seeking a raise and maybe they're not seeing you that kind of energy but you know it's it's about equality it's about equalness it's about um balance making sure that there's a balance in uh, what you do and what the money comes in for talks you know to the high priestess is trusting your instincts it's like if you feel something's off something's off is what this card is telling me if you feel it it's there all right we have the ace of swords ace of swords is a beautiful card of new thoughts new communication somebody could be reaching out to touch to touch you to communicate with you or if they touch you you know that's a whole different ball game <laughs> to communicate with you i was going to say to be in touch with you is what I was going to say, but it didn't come out that way. Um, it could be communication. You could be hearing from somebody about something. You could be hearing from somebody about a job even. Um, these are air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so it is definitely you. It could be, um, it could be somebody that you've wrote to or reached out to or emailed or whatever that you'll hear back from and it's usually a positive sign it's usually um, thumbs up basically um, all systems go you know this is also about truth and about justice and about fairness and it kind of goes heralds back to this so you could have even wrote like a the head of a company about a situation at work even and that might be coming through <clears throat> in the uh in this reading for you. Um, taking action. Taking action on a situation also. You have temperance. And it, it, it's almost like. It's almost like put. You know take action. Do what you have to do. But be patient. Know that whatever it is that you're trying to. Uh, bring awareness to or bring about. It's going to take a little time. Temperance is about patience. It's also about bringing in balance. So you have, um, you know, you have the scales here, but then you also have the balance of the two cups with the water. Uh, temperance is about finding the right mixture. Temperance is about finding what works. Trying to see what works. What's the best, um, what's the best combination 
What's the best combination? This could be something for work. It could be something where if you have a business and you're trying to find the right employees, you're trying to find the right balance, right? It could also mean that where you're trusting your in instincts, you're trusting your intuition. And it's almost like you feel like I have to see these people. I have to see how they work or like if you're hiring for a movie or something like that, you have to see how people work together. But whatever this is, whatever idea you have coming in, whatever action you're taking, know that there's going to be, um, it's not going to probably happen very quickly. It's going to be well thought over and well, um, it's going to, it's going to, um, it's going to be looked over very well, if that makes sense to you. It's not going to be something that somebody's just going to make their mind up over without really putting some thought into it, which is what you want. You don't want just somebody to say yes. You don't want yes people. You have the beautiful sun card. Sun's a card of Leo. New dawn, dawn of a new day, new beginning. Um, it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. It's, it's almost like Gemini. It's your time to show them what you can do. It's your time to come out of the woodwork. It's your time to, um, to be seen, to be seen possibly get credit for whatever this is that that's coming in possibly get credit for a new way of um it could be shifting something at work it could be starting your own something your own business your own career your own side hustle your own job something like that even all right this fell so that's a pause just so i can pick that up we have magical map shifter i don't think i've ever pulled this card how interesting. Um, it's a beautiful card, 52, 5 and 2 is 7, which is a number of, or yeah, a number of decisions. Looks like she has a compass and she's holding a compass. Um, she's got the keys surrounding her. It's almost like you're figuring things out. You're figuring things out, Gemini. You're figuring it out. Whoa, that lost all the cards. Let's see what we have here. It says, spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. You know, I thought of that with this, and I have goosebumps, on the, the third eyes illuminated on the angel. It's divine. It's coming from higher source. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be or someone who leads you out of a diff uh, out of difficulty and it, into a place of success and safety. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today or this week and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be aware and awake and you'll recognize them for their important change. You'll recognize them for the important change agents they are. Your whole perceptive perceptive about who you are and why you're here will shift the magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself and that's what I feel too again bringing something in balance it could be your work it could be um, calling out something at work but it's it's a shift in your energy and it's it's going to take some time you're taking action on it now but be patient with it but you will come through you will shine you will be seen um, it's almost like, uh, oh gosh, if you would put, you know, a, a flashlight in a box that has little holes in it and in a dark room and all the light that illuminates out of it, all the little rays, that's kind of what I feel that, that whatever you're doing is going to be very far reaching. Whatever you're doing is going to be, um, for many, it's not just for a few, it's for many, uh, it's needed. I think it's, I think it's, um, divinely guided. I think it's something that has been instilled in you, given to you, blessed you, however you want to see fit with that. But now's the time. It's like, I just feel like the world needs this more than ever. I do have to mention this beautiful moon in back of her. We have a lot of moon energies in April. Um, coming out of, um, hmm, you'll have to look them up. I don't have my chart with me, but we have, um, the end of, 
end of April, maybe it's May's energy that's coming in. End of April, I think we have a new moon and we have a lunar eclipse or solar eclipse. I don't know. You'll have to check that out. But there's some type of moon energy here. We have a new moon April 1st, which is already passed, but we have the 16th, which is this reading is for the 10th through the 16th. So on the 16th, we have a full moon in Libra. So check that out. Uh, do some research on that. See how that's going to resonate with you. You're definitely given the key. You're definitely being given the answers. You're given, um, you're given the answers. And look at the determination on her face. Oh, love it. I love it. I just love it. Um, you know the direction you're going in. You're taking action on it. And you will be seen and you will shine. And this is going to be a very... Um, very big thing for you. So Gemini, let me know how this resonates. Let me know what you're doing. I'd love to know. Take care. Stay safe. Until next week. Bye for now.